Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of the First Feathers and Fangs Creature Feature, a weekly series in which I talk about some of the amazing animals we get to share this planet with. Since we're still in the month of April, and since my last topic was the gorilla, we're going to keep things in a similar theme, if you will. And since we're already in Africa, why not talk about the gorilla's neighbor, the chimpanzee. Chimpanzees are smaller than gorillas, although they can, st if on their, if walking on two legs, they can still stand about five feet when fully grown, and are immensely strong, just like gorillas. They can still beat the snot out of the strongest human male. Okay, trail is closed. Have to go back. Anyway, chimpanzees are very, very social animals, living in groups of up to 50 individuals. And an interesting thing about their group dynamic is although they will be in such a large group, they will also, within that group, have several smaller, I guess you can say family units. And they will manage themselves, all led by one or two dominant males. And an interesting thing about chimps, now that I bring that up, they're one of the few animals in which males will share dominance in order to protect the odds of that dominance carrying on. Two is better than one, three is better than two, so on and so forth. But chimps will group together to protect their territory, which means protecting resources like food and water. And when I say they protect their territory, they really go all out. Chimpanzees are one of the more aggressive primates, and if you ever look into details about chimpanzee warfare, it's pretty gruesome. Male chimps routinely patrol their territories looking for encroachers, and if another group happens to move in on a particular group's territory, they will go to war. Males will screech and shout and display. And if that doesn't scare off the would-be invaders, they will then launch an all-out assault going after the other chimps with the intent to injure, even the intent to kill. Chimpanzees will break off tree limbs and use rocks as weapons. They will even dismember and feed on the flesh of their enemies. Yeah. Chimp cannibalism. On the topic of what chimps eat, they are one of the most omnivorous primate species. Not only do they feed on fruits and leaves, nuts, seeds, insects, they will also hunt other animals. They've been documented hunting colobus monkeys, red river bush pigs, even small antelope in the forest. And once a prey animal is taken down, the chimps will divide up the spoils and they'll have themselves a feed. As well as using vocal means to communicate, chimpanzees have also have very, very expressive faces that convey different things. They can use their face to indicate if, there's, if they are happy, sad, angry, if there's danger approaching, Although, don't smile at a chimp. In chimp society, a smile can either mean anger or the approach of danger, like other chimps or a predator. Like gorillas, chimpanzees are also incredibly intelligent and can also learn sign language. In the wild, they've been observed using twigs to fish out termites and termite mounds, using specially fashioned clubs to go hunting with, they even use rocks to break open particularly hard nuts. Now being so social, chimpanzees need to constantly strengthen their social bonds and their ties to one another. So in their downtime, chimpanzees will groom each other. This serves a couple purposes. One, it helps rid the, the chimps of dead skin cells, parasites, all sorts of other yucky stuff. 
It provides a quick protein boost for the chimp that gets to do the grooming, and it helps strengthen the bond, like a couple of people meeting for a cup of coffee. Except in this case, it's chimps meeting for a couple of fleas and maybe a tick. Whatever you want to do. Like the gorilla, the chimpanzee is threatened, but not on such an extreme scale as, as some other primates might be. Main contributors to their, their um, I don't want to say the word demise, because that means that there's no hope and there is still hope. So their numbers dropping are habitat loss, hunt for bushmeat, and the illegal pet trade. Well, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this talk about chimps. Chimp chat. There we go. That's going to go on a t-shirt someday. Be sure to give the video a like. Hit that thumbs up button. Share it with your friends. Do all that fun stuff. I really appreciate you. I have something really nice to say and I trip over my words. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I thank everyone out there for their support of First Feathers and Fangs. Be sure to like us on Facebook for news and updates. As always, this has been Zach. Have a wild day, everyone. Like Furs, Feathers, and Fangs? Want to see more videos from this channel? Be sure to check out the links here for my Creature Feature and Wild Excursion playlists. Be sure to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Furs, Feathers, and Fangs. And be sure to subscribe for new videos uploaded every week. Well, every week-ish. Time permitting. Have a wild day, everyone.